Hello. So one of the things I was going to talk about today is some of the happiest clients I have are the ones that do the self-work, the self-improvement, the personal development. And what you're trying to achieve is get into a place where you understand yourself. Get into a place where you love who you are. And that's literally, you're looking in the mirror. The person you see in front of you, that's acceptable. You're okay with that. It doesn't mean you don't want more. It's just you don't judge yourself for not being where you want to be. The person that truly grasps the, the basics of self-development, personal development, self-improvement, self-love, has a, an appreciation and a gratitude for the place they're in right now. And anything that they want to work on, any improvements they want to make, they get excited about that. They see where that can lead them. It's something to go for, it's a goal. It's literally an improvement. It's going to make me better. They're not down or disappointed in themselves because they're not there now. It's the complete opposite. People that I work with who have low self-esteem, they're always comparing themselves to who they want to be and make it feel impossible. People with health, high self-esteem are excited about who they can become and what they can achieve. They're excited about all the things they haven't achieved yet, all the things they haven't done yet. That's what excites them. That's what gets them up in the morning. That's what grips their attention. They're not satisfied. They want more. So if you're sitting there beating yourself up and you're like, well, what can I do to make myself better? The first thing I try and get all of my clients to do is accept who they are and to make improvements moving forward. And you need to understand what and who you want to become, not in terms of finances, not in terms of relationships. That's much later down the line. This is self-improvement 101, self-worth 101. The basics, the ABC. Look in the mirror and accept who you are. This is who I am, and that's all right. And then you have the foundations to move forward. And it's really difficult. I know it is, because it's the opposite of what you believe, the opposite of what you're taught. But that high health, that high healthy self-esteem that you're searching for it starts from within and the people who have it the most are always excited by trying to be better by trying to improve themselves they're never beating themselves up about where they are or where they started from in fact some of the people with the highest self-esteem would give it all up to be able to start again and that's the crazy concept to understand. But that's how crazy it is. You need to fall in love with who you are today. You need to like that person. Because you need to give that person motivation. You need to give that person compassion. You need to keep that person inspired. And you can't do that if you're hating on somebody. Listen to some David Goggins and he talks about how fat he was and how he hated that person and how he drives himself and the discipline and the standards he accepts. Now, he does it from a place of hate and anger. But I would argue that underneath that is a guy that really loves his potential and loves who he can be and uses that fear, that pain to push himself hard. Because he understands what motivates him. He understands what pushes himself forward. But you've got to accept the place that you're in. And that's what I'm talking about with acceptance. 
So if you're piss poor and have no money, you have to accept that before you can move forward. If you're fat, obese, overweight and disgusted with how you look, you have to accept that before you can move forward. When you accept that, you then have a base level. Because you've got to look in the mirror and say to yourself, I need more from you. That place we want to go, we, we need to do it because you're worth it. If you don't believe you're worth it, you're not going to put in the work. You're not going to put in the effort. And that's why you have to accept yourself. That's why you have to love yourself. That's why you... Because that, those are the foundations of if I'm worth it, I'll be disciplined. If I believe I'm worth this effort, that I'm good enough to receive this, I'm good enough to do it, you'll put in the work. You'll put in the effort. So focus on accepting who you are and then have a good conversation yourself in the mirror and demand that you prove that you're worth it. You demand from yourself that you prove, I love you. I'm going to do this for you. And just get off your fucking ass and do it.